Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sydney Nicole, and as you can see from the title, we're back with another trends video. Chatting about trends is probably one of my favorite videos that I put up on my channel. If you haven't seen any of my other trends videos, I do have one other talking about some spring trends, so I will have that link below. But I'm so excited to chat about some new trends that I've been seeing that are going to be really big for spring and summer, but just like in all of my trend prediction videos, just keep in mind that these are my opinions and I'm not telling you what to wear, I'm not telling you what not to wear. You totally don't have to like any of the trends that I'm talking about. Fashion is very subjective, which is something that I love about it, so everything that I'm sharing with you guys is part of my personal style, trends that I like and that I'll be wearing, but it is more than okay to not like some of the trends or to not agree with me. That is totally okay. I am just sharing things that I'm loving right now. But anyway, I will be linking a bunch of pieces below that are related to the trends that I'm talking about today. So if you do want to shop any of these looks that we're talking about, I'm gonna have a bunch of links in the description. While you're down in the description, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll have the links to my Instagram and TikTok below as well. But I'm excited to chat some trends and fashion. So I have 12 different trends that I wanna talk about today. First one is monochromatic outfits. This really goes along with the overall trend of color being absolutely huge for the spring and summer. Especially bright and bold colors are really fun. We're seeing them so much in stores, in people's wardrobes, and my Pinterest is like all bright colors right now. And I think it is so cool to play on how big color is coming into fashion this year by wearing fully monochromatic outfits. So this pretty much means you just pick one color and you stick with that and you wear like different shades or the same shade of one color. If you are more of a neutrals girl, which I personally am as you can see, I do love color but I also love the neutrals and I have seen this done with neutrals as well. You can even do it with black and white if you want a more classic look. Either way, I love it. I think wearing head to toe one color or different shades of one color is such a bold and fun trend that just screams spring and summer and is really fun. Going along with that, the second trend is pops of color. So if you're not fully here for the monochromatic fits yet, trying out pops of color into your wardrobe is a really fun way to slowly introduce color. And this is definitely what I did because I am very very much comfortable with neutrals and color is a little bit hard for me so I do love love adding little pops of color to my mainly neutral outfits I think the easiest way to do this is grabbing like bags purses handbags that are fun colors or even doing it with shoes especially little heels are really fun for a color moment but this can also be done with other pieces like shorts or a cardigan a button-up there are a lot of different ways you can just bring one item that is bright or bold or fun and throw it in with a more neutral outfit and that is a huge trend that I am absolutely obsessed with. Moving on to the next one that I'm sure you've noticed, corset tops are absolutely huge. We definitely saw corset tops throughout the past year come and go but they are here to stay and there are so many different variations of corset tops that I've been seeing lately. I absolutely love how many different types of corsets there are and different patterns and colors and so many options for this trend. For the spring especially, corsets that have a floral pattern are just the cutest thing ever. And of course I love just a basic neutral white or tan beige colored corset. I think they are really easy to style. They are super super flattering, definitely giving me Bridgerton vibes, but they're a trendy piece that makes me feel really girly, they're really flattering, and I honestly love corsets. A lot of them also have built in padding, which I think is just the best thing ever, so hopefully they stick around for another couple of years because I love this trend. Okay, next is one that's kind of fun to style with corset tops while we're on the topic, but it is cargo pants. I honestly never thought cargo pants would come back. I think I wore them when I was like eight and I never saw myself wearing them again. 
But here we are. I just purchased two pairs of cargo pants. I will link them below. I have a high-waisted pair and I have a low-waisted pair. And they are actually so fun to style. They're so flattering and different than just your basic denim pair of jeans. I think they look so, so cute with little tops like corset tops. And they're a fun trend that I'm really into. I've also been seeing people take cargo pants and roll over like the top and like flip it over for a low-waisted look and I don't know it just looks kind of trendy and cute and cargo pants are super comfortable so that's a big that's a big plus in my mind next trend is low-waisted mini skirts and just another thing that I really didn't think was going to come back in fashion but here we are mini skirts are pretty much always going to be in fashion but this year specifically, we're seeing a ton of low-waisted mini skirts. Just like we talked about in one of my last few trends videos, low-waisted everything and anything is coming back in style, whether we like it or not. It is here, and for the spring and summer, we are seeing low-waisted mini skirts, even actually low-waisted longer skirts. I've seen some of those, they are very cute but low waist is taking over. I am embracing it. It's time. I actually think it's really cute. I recently picked up a black mini skirt that is the low waisted style, but it's also kind of high waisted because it is a V cut. So if you are transitioning into low waisted and you're not here for it fully yet, this is a really good option to go for the V cut low waist, low waist mini skirts. So I will link that one below, but I think it is very flattering very cute trend and I will definitely be picking up more low waist and mini skirts. Kind of going along this trend, the next thing that I've been seeing everywhere, especially after Coachella, this one's a little bit hard to explain, but I'm calling it high bikini low bottoms. So pretty much what this is, is when people wear their high waisted bikini bottoms or even like a thong or underwear bottoms high up on their hips and then they wear low waisted pants with it. High bikini, low bottoms. Let me know if there's actually a term for this because I just made that up, but I don't know, I'm going with it. I've seen this done a lot where people will just like unbutton their pants if they're not a low-waisted pants so you can see the bikini bottom. And this is definitely giving me summer vibes, surfer girl vibes. I love it. I honestly hated this right away. I think I hated it because I was seeing people wear mainly like thongs or underwear with this. And I, I don't know, I wasn't here for that. But doing this trend with bikini bottoms, I'm here for that. It's just giving me like effortless, I'm on the way to the beach, but I'm also really trendy, cool girl vibes. Okay, next trend that we've definitely been seeing for a while, but I have to mention it because it's so good, is an oversized button up like one I'm wearing. So this one is a light tan beige color. I will link it below. This one's from Revolve. But any and all oversized button-ups are huge. They've been trending for years. They will be because they're just the most perfect layering piece. They really make every outfit feel more trendy. They give an element and I love them. I just picked up one of my all-time favorite classic crisp white button-ups. So I'll have that linked from Shein. Such a must-have if you don't have any big white button-ups. I would recommend grabbing that one. It is just an absolute classic. But I've also seen this done with bright pops of color button-ups. Even different materials like satin button-ups are so good. And they're perfect for your spring wardrobe because they're a light layer that is super trendy and I just, I love them for every outfit. Next is body chains. And I'm so in love with body chains and body jewelry. I can't even tell you guys. I just grabbed a few, so of course I will link them. But uh, this is another trend that I've really been noticing since Coachella. I love the idea of wearing jewelry everywhere and body jewelry is just perfect for that, especially like the little waist chains. Whether you're wearing low-waisted something and having a waist chain or maybe like a one-piece bodysuit or a swimsuit and a waist chain, a dress and a body chain. There are so many ways that you can style body jewelry, waist chains, the whole thing and I think they just make you look so effortlessly trendy and bring a very cool element to a lot of outfits. I just love it. I think it's a really cool trend. I am always here for wearing more jewelry, so I love it. 
Next trend is bandeau and strapless styles. I'm so excited that these are really trending this spring and summer because I think they are so pretty and easy to style and wear. So whether you're grabbing a little bandeau top and pairing it with some bottoms or a strapless style dress. Of course, we're seeing this with corset tops as well that are strapless or for more simple styles like just a plain, simple, seamless bandeau or strapless style. I feel like we didn't see a lot of strapless moments last summer, so I'm excited that these are back and very trendy. I've seen them styled a ton and I really love it. Next trend is baby doll silhouettes. Another one that is kind of an old trend that is coming back around and I like it. I, I like it a lot actually. So we're pretty much talking about tops or dresses that are tight under the bra line and then flowy is the baby doll look essentially. So I've seen a lot of cute little tops recently that are in this style, the baby doll silhouette, as well as little sundresses. And I think they're just very flirty and girly and cute. So absolutely perfect for the spring and summer. They really give me like sweet summer cutesy vibes that I'm loving. Okay, next trend is no surprise because this has been trending for a minute, but it's another one that is sticking around very strong. So we have to give her a mention. It is athletic sets. Specifically, I wanna to touch on athletic sets that are like a biker short and a sports bra. These are just like the peak of the that girl aesthetic and they are definitely going to be very hot and very trending this spring and summer as well. I think this is the perfect thing to throw on whether you're lounging around the house, you're running errands, you're just being comfy and cute. A little matching set is the most perfect thing to throw on. I have a few favorites that are neutral color, athletic little biker short and sports bra sets. So I'll have those linked of course, but this can also be done in bright colors, in different patterns. There are a lot of ways that you can play on this trend, but matching sets are huge and they are not going anywhere. I think we mentioned this one earlier, but the next trend I have down is florals. And especially in the spring, florals just come up every year, I feel like. It's just a very spring trend for the obvious reason. It's very cutesy and every spring I just find myself so, so drawn to floral patterns. This year we are specifically seeing them on corset style tops or in little dresses. I even have a matching floral set. So a lot of ways, again, that you can play on this trend, but especially for the spring, this is a really cute little way to add some color and some pattern into your wardrobe. Oh, the next trend is one of my favorites, especially as we go into summer. It is the boyfriend jean short. If you watch my recent Shein haul, I literally picked up the absolute best, most flawless pair of comfy boyfriend denim shorts. So I will have those linked for y'all. They are just my everything. Everything I've looked for in a boyfriend jean short. I found them. So happy. But this style is definitely the hottest denim style for the spring and summer this year. Whether you're grabbing them in a high-waisted style or mid to low rise, the comfier, looser fit and longer pairs of denim are definitely what is hot and trending. Not to say that short denim shorts are out of style by any means, but these longer boyfriend fits are definitely taking the lead here. And I love them because they're so much more comfy than your typical super short denim shorts. I think they are just the best thing ever. Next trend is the unitard, the one piece. I don't really know what we're calling these, but these little one piece athletic moments. I'm sure you've seen them on your Instagram or your Pinterest or somewhere, but they're taking over all of my social media and I love it. I, again, recently picked up one that is just chef's kiss. I'm obsessed. It'll be linked. You already know. Just another piece that can be styled so easily, really casual and cute thing to throw on. I love super easy and casual outfits that I will realistically wear all spring and summer and little one piece athletic moments are definitely that for me. This is another that 
we are seeing a lot in neutral colors like black and shades of tan but can absolutely be done also in a pop of color or different patterns so a lot of fun things you can do with these but they're comfy they're easy and they literally put an entire outfit together in one piece okay the last spring and summer trend that we're talking about today in this video is so fun very coachella inspired it is fringe and fluff i don't really know a better way to describe this so i'll put in some pictures but anything that has a fringe trim or like a feather fluff trim is just like so cute i am drooling over this trend especially after coachella i've seen so many amazing outfits and pieces that are playing on these styles this is definitely one of those trends that's a little bit more dressy i would say that this is more something i would wear like to an event or like a cute dinner not like an everyday trend necessarily well i mean it could be but for me personally it's more of like a dressed up look type of trend but i really am obsessed with this and i need to get my hands on something fringy or fluffy or both and style it because i think this is just the cutest and coolest thing and is very very like high fashion fashionista okay guys those were all of the spring and summer 2022 trends that we're talking about today again these are just my opinions things that i've been seeing and that i think are going to be really big and i'll definitely be wearing all these trends but let me know in the comments if you liked any of these trends if you'll be wearing them or if there are other spring and summer trends that you know of and you want to drop down below i love hearing it before you go please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already but that is everything i hope you enjoyed this video and i love you guys i will see you in the next one